Welcome to this service of Holy Communion. Listen to the gracious words of our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, Come to me, all whose work is hard, whose load is heavy, and I will give you relief. Bend your neck to my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble-hearted, and your souls will find relief. Jesus also said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall never be hungry, and whoever believes in me shall never be thirsty. The person who comes to me, I will never turn away. How blessed are those who strive to see right prevail. They shall be satisfied. Our communion hymn is number 662, Jesus, Thou Joy of Loving Hearts. grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Listen to the words of St. Paul, which describe how this sacrament began. The tradition which I handed on to you came to me from the Lord himself, that the Lord Jesus, on the night of his arrest, took bread, and after giving thanks to God, broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after supper and said, this cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. 
For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes. Let us now follow the example of Jesus in word and in action. As he took bread and wine on the night of his arrest and used them to be the signs of truth eternal, so I take this bread and this wine to be set apart from all earthly and common uses for this, their sacred use today. And as Jesus gave thanks and praise to God, let us do the same. Let us pray. Almighty God, it is right and good that we should always give you thanks. And so we thank you now for the whole of creation, for all the works of your hands. We are grateful that you gave us space and time for living and that you have provided for all that is necessary to sustain our bodies, for food and drink, for our stomachs, air for our lungs, clothes to shelter our bodies, light for our eyes, and of course, our homes. We praise you for all the blessings of life, known and unknown. We thank you for all the people who have loved us, our families, our friends, neighbours and colleagues, all who have enriched our lives, those on earth and those now with you. Above all, we thank you for sending Jesus into our world. We are grateful that he shared our common life on earth, experiencing its joys and its sorrows. We give thanks that he suffered and died for us, that he rose again, and that he is always present through the Holy Spirit. We rejoice to know that he is here with us as host at this table. We pray now, Lord, that you may send us the Holy Spirit so that we may participate in this event with meaning and with purpose. Let your Spirit be in us and upon the bread and wine, that through them we may enter into our blessed Lord and he into us. So grant that we may be confronted with his love and be filled with his life. O God, our Father, we ask you to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and graciously accept us also as we dedicate ourselves and you to your service, in fellowship with all your people in heaven and on earth. We ask you to fulfill in us and in all people the purposes of your love. We offer our prayer through Jesus Christ our Lord, and in the words which he taught his disciples of old, we further pray, saying, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. According to the example and command of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in remembrance of him, we do this. On the night on which he was being delivered into the hands of his enemies, Jesus took bread. And after giving thanks to God, he broke it. And said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup at the end of the meal and said, this cup is the new covenant sealed by my blood. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. 
grant us your peace. Take this and eat it. This is the body of Christ broken for you. Do this remembering him. As I eat bread, I invite you to do the same. This cup is the new covenant sealed by Christ's blood, which was shed that the sins of many might be forgiven. Drink from it, all of you. As I drink wine, I invite you to do the same. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Let us again pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for the spiritual experiences which have been ours in this celebration of communion, for the word you have spoken, for the way you have shown, for the prayer you have answered, for the burden you have lifted. For the question you have solved, for the problem you have made clearer, for hope which you have reawakened, for faith which you have made stronger, for the communion you have created, for the memories you have evoked of those who have passed into your eternal keeping. Now we pray that you may allow us to see in every family table an image of the communion table, to see in all the daily bread shared at home the sign of your providing and protecting, and to carry into all our relationships with family, with friends, neighbours and colleagues something of the fellowship of the church. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our closing hymn is 498 angel voices ever singing. <laughs>
may the peace of God, which passes all human understanding and deserving, keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with each one of you, now and forevermore. Amen.